welcome to Katumba, which is where we've been staying in the last few days in the Blue Mountains National Park. We're about to head to Sydney in about half an hour. I've got a rapid drive to get back in time to drop off the camper. Boo, sad. Um, so we're gonna grab some breakfast. I need to do a little bit of uploading on some Wi-Fi to make sure the videos get up for you guys. And then we'll be on the road. Bosh, 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 good. I guess this would be a good time to ask you guys now it's our last day hmm. of the camp trip. Favourite moment? It might be because it was yesterday, but I think as a whole, yesterday was just like the best day. It was just so good. And kind of, I probably put it down as like one of my old time great days. Was it because I took that amazing photo of you? Probably, yeah. How much does that add to it the day? Probably. If someone takes the best photo anyone's taken of somebody oh, on the best it's day, it's not a bad day, is it really? No. I'm going to put that on my CV. <laughs> Robbie? I mean, yesterday was pretty good, but seeing as Glenn's already said it, I think I'm going to have to go for Warren Bungle. Just like being out in the bush was great, and our little walk we did, getting up to that little summit, that view was amazing. As for me, I really enjoyed all of the beaches, Byron Bay especially. Brisbane at night, the nightlife in Brisbane, as well as the day in Brisbane. Really, really good, really enjoyed that. But I think I might just have to edge it and go the same as, same as Glen. Yesterday was just awesome. Like, that waterfall and that swimming hole, it's just like, it's a sort of, one of those sort of like, like situations that you sort of dream of when you go traveling, isn't it? Like, that's like the sort of ultimate place to just have a good day and spend a, spend a day having fun. But, be careful, you just eat and you might throw up, but my favorite bit is actually having to go to experience all of it with you boys. <laughs> Should we head to Sydney and officially end the camp of our trip and start the next bit? Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. To Sydney. Yeah. Yeah. And that's it. Time to say goodbye to our home for the last 10 days. The mighty Big Six camper. You've been a legend. Stay classy. You'll never have owners like us again. I'm sure of it. That's it, boys. Say goodbye to the champ. She did good. She did good. She did, she did mighty fine. Mighty fine. She kept us in uh, good stead. Yeah. A lot of miles. A lot of miles. What do you reckon in total? 2,000? Yeah. Not quite, but close to, I'd say. 18, 1900 miles. Yeah. <laughs> to be precise. Decent. Well done, Mighty Camper. That was definitely a way of travelling I would recommend. Yeah, definitely. Yeah? Yeah. So Get a good. camper, drive it, all the flexibility you need, everything at your fingertips. You can go wherever you want, whenever you want. Camper, Mighty Camper, you did well. Thank you very much. Now we're in Sydney, we're going to head over to our friend's house, Cassie and Casey's house, and I think. Cassie's little brother Marco is coming to pick us up. There he is, the man himself. <laughs> right guys, I have a little bit of a confession to make. I haven't really vlogged the last few days, but I have a good reason why. So when we got to our friend's house here at Casey and Cassie's, we hadn't seen them in so long. It had been <coughs> months and months and months and months. So really we just wanted to catch up with them, spend some time with them. Didn't want to have to worry about, you know, filming every part of the thing we did. We just wanted to catch up with them and hang out. But luckily for you guys, we've still got four more days in, three more days actually, three more days, full days in Sydney to do a load of cool different stuff that we will be filming and that starts today because we're about to take a boat onto the harbour. Before we leave, let me show you the view our friends have from their apartment. Pretty much the skyline of Sydney. Not bad, right? Not bad at all. You've got the harbour over there, you've got the main uh, city there and then you, just there is the Sydney Harbour Bridge and the Sydney Opera House, I don't know if you can see it, is right in between these two buildings here. It's a little bit overcast today, but that's not going to dampen any spirits because we're probably a bit of a lifesaver to be honest, because if it was blaring sun all day, 
from what we've heard about the sun in the harbour, we would be getting completely shriveled to pieces by being burnt. Casey, welcome back to the vlog. Last time was Tuscany, right? Yes, that it was. was. That was, that, that was, was an ages awesome trip. Ago, yeah, that well. was an awesome trip. Great trip. I'm back with the same crew again, so, and even the, some of the people from Australia that were in is Tuscany. It's exactly the same crew. Yeah, minus Gigi was. Just Sean, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Good morning, Marco. Good work. Great day today, guys. Enjoyed that a lot. Solid. Checked out a bit of Sydney, up via the water. Behind the boat, yeah. Did some wakeboarding, which was class. First time properly doing it behind a boat. And you nailed it. Thank you. You did As too. did you. Yeah, good fun. So much. Catch you all later. Thank you. Oh, where's, the, where's the little man? Where is he? Grab it. Make that lens yours. It says, I want that camera. This looks amazing. Look at all that. Thanks, Cass. Don't worry. Right, fast forward a few hours and I've just finished off a bit of an edit session to get the day's vlogs done. And you might notice I'm in a different location. We've left Cassie and Casey, our friend's apartment, and we're now in a new place, which has very much to do with our following plans and following days in Sydney. I will explain now, but I am absolutely shattered, far too tired, but all will be revealed in the next few daily vlogs.